funds for respect of the debt. We said funds. We buy a land. Not only one place tackling the many corners of Nairobi because death is within us and the dead we are working with it, with it. So we cannot stay, say that the only option we have is Langata, so honorable Madam Speaker, I support and I say Nairobi City Council planning officers should be in jail for what they are doing to this city. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Dorothy Kiara. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to support this very important motion by Honorable Odwell, Member of Parliament Ramata. Honorable Speaker, I begin with an adage that says that the best brains lie in the symmetry. Indeed, Madam Speaker, we are not just talking about Rangata. We are talking about a place where bodies are just dumped in a shallow or permanent grave, depending on one's means or the discretion of the people left behind. We are talking about the next temporary or permanent resident of children, youth, men, women, legislator seated here, Honorable Speaker, when all of us we exit from this life. Then this begs for the next question, Honorable Speaker. Do dead people have dignity? The Constitution of Kenya in the Bill of Rights confers the right to inherit dignity and that dignity to, the respect, to be respected and the people who die should be protected. If you walk around Langata Cemetery today, Honorable Speaker, you wonder whether we are there to this constitution that says even the dead have and deserve dignity. Honorable Speaker, we are perturbed today. We are talking of a place that was set aside by the colonial masters. That means, as a country, we should feel ashamed talking about Langata Cemetery very many years after independence. We have not taken any steps to either improve on the same or continue on where the colonial masters left us. Honorable Speaker, I am saying this with a lot of pain because the people lying at Langata Cemetery and all of us seated here today, whether it will be Langata Cemetery or elsewhere, we shall one day be there, and soon and very soon, because nobody of us has permanent immunity over death. Honorable Speaker, it is the high time that we prepare that final lasting place for ourselves when we are still alive. And it is the responsibility of the registrator seated here today and this is why I say thumbs up, honorable or dual, because you are thinking about yourself. You are thinking about the future generation. And we should not look at the graves and think they are only graves. They are people known to us. Honorable Speaker, when you go to Rangata today, you will find plaques. You will find every grave as a title and a name. But unfortunately, because of the double allocation of the graves, the person who is buried there is not the person who owns that plaque that is mounted there. Honorable Speaker, I'm saying the county government of, of Nairobi is obligated to ensure that they take the immediate steps of improving that cemetery now so that we don't talk about a place that there is nothing we can do about it whereas we have all the mechanisms that we can use to improve on that particular place. Honorable Speaker, we should also uh, take cognizance of the fact that uh, this place should be well taken care of in terms of this place should have toilets, this place should have places like wash areas, this place should have water points, the bushes must be cleared so that when people go there,
to check on their loved ones. They have a dignified place where they can go relax and memory and have fine memories of the people who have been put there. Honorable Speaker, I'm saying the county government in the constitution is also obligated to ensure that they set aside. Honorable Speaker, I can see my time is up, but I'm saying the county government also should set aside areas where people should be buried in dignity. Thank you, Honorable Dorothy. Your time is up. Member for Alego Usonga, Honorable Samuel Atandi. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this motion by Honorable uh, Jalango is a very important motion. It is a fact that uh, Langata Cemetery is, has reached its capacity. Also, it's a fact that the previous attempts have been made to uh, to try to create a new cemetery for Nairobi residents. 